Hi guys, this is DC Game Tips One, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install custom themes uh, to Windows 7. So all the links will be in the description. I'll tell you what you need first. You need WinRAR. Um, you need the um, if your computer is running Windows 32-bit, then you need uh, that one, that version. Or if you're obviously running 64-bit, then get that version. If you want to know or uh, to learn, or if you want to see how, uh, like what operating system you have, either 32-bit or 64-bit, then go to Start, go to Computer, and then right-click, go on Properties, and then it'll say System Type 64-bit Operating System. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, and um, yeah, so that's how you find out, and then you can just download whichever. Um, Win right that you need, and then uh, I want you to go on this website. Uh, it's called itzlupo.com slash downloads forward slash. The link will be in the description, like I said before. And what you need to do is you need to go right down to the bottom. There is Xbox mods and software for modding files and stuff like that. Just go right to the bottom, and it says customizing when. Windows and then it says use universal theme patcher here and then just click download and then as, as you can see look, that's a WinRAR file so I just want you to press OK and then it comes up see I've already downloaded it but I just showed you guys how to download it um, and then what I need you to do is just uh, left click and then highlight these two where it says universal theme pack or the universal theme and then just drag it onto your desktop <coughs> okay and then you'll come up with two like um, things like this that look like this one if you click on it once one says universal theme patcher x64 that means if you are running 32 bit and because x64 shows up in start computer and then if you click your ACC C drive you can see it says program files eight times eight eighty six so that means I'm running on sixty four bit so that's another way you can find out and then it says times eight eighty six so what you need to do is you need to click um the whichever one that you're on obviously I'm on uh, 64 bit and my program file says times 86 so if you're on 32 bit you pro one of your program files folders will say times 64 bit so just click whichever one that you're on oh sorry guys I forgot to add you need to right click on it and run it as administrator it will say do you want to allow the following program for an unknown publisher to make changes to this computer just press yes and then it says dialog, user interface language, and then it's got all them things, and then just click English and press OK. And then it'll say, if this is your first time doing it, which it most likely will be, it'll say Windows 7 Home Premium Edition 64 bit service pack 1. And then it says, this OS needs to patch three files. If you've already done it, it'll say three files have been patched, but this is my first time doing it as well. But obviously, I know what to do. So you need to go um, yes, <coughs> and then um, it will say patch there, patch there, and patch there. You need to press patch on all of them, and it will say patch success, um, patch um, success again. So that's basically what you do. And then what you have to do, right? So you need to go into a website, guys, called. Um, DeviantArt or DeviantArt.com and obviously the link will be in the description. Just type in Windows 7 themes. So I can see up in here. Um, and then it's I'm just gonna find a theme that I like and um, click that. It's this it looks like a really cool theme. Now you can download the image where you might think oh that's downloading the theme, but it's not. That it's just downloading this image here, which is not where you want. You want to go down. Some will say download theme and that's the right thing, but mostly they say download image. So just go down and then the guys in the guys who make the themes will probably have this in their description of tutorials on how to do this. See there's the universal theme patcher which I showed you what to do. Okay guys.
and then it says download Mac OS X theme for Windows 7 from the link below. So I'm going to click that, um, and then it says you are now leaving uh, Devon Art. Just press continue to the wherever, and then it will say download the thingy, the theme. Um, so I'm just going to press. Um, where will you download it from? Uh, you just click. I just clicked the um, the writing because I didn't really know where else to get the download from. And then uh, obviously WinRAR has come up again, so to download it with, just press OK. <coughs> now the themes could take like. A minute to ten seconds, depending on how fast your internet is. Obviously, mine's pretty fast, so um, I just used, did that basically. Um, so once you downloaded it, uh, just highlight these two because this is the theme, the Leopard OS X thing. Um, so if you've got these two, like you probably. On more advanced themes, um, it will have like loads of different folders. Just go in, uh, make sure you find the folder that's got these two in, so it has the um, the like. I'll just go on full screen here for a sec. It has the like, the it looks like an image there, sort of thing with like a little thing there. Uh, I'll zoom in on that, and then um, it has the Leopard OS X folder in it. So what you need to do, guys, is you need to just like pull that to the side there, and then I want you to go into Start um, Computer, and then go into Acer C Drive or well, if your laptop's not Acer, then just go into your C Drive, which will probably be here, and it'll say C Drive um, with brackets and then colon that is. <coughs> so double click that, then go into Windows. And then I want you to go down till you find um, resources, which is here under on mine. It's under res 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 cache or something. So just uh, click resources and then go into themes and then copy and paste these files. Uh, or you can just drag them over if you can't copy and paste it for whatever reason. I'm just going to drag them over into here. And it says you need to provide administrative permission to move this folder. I'm just going to hit continue. And then it's put them in as you can see there, guys. So once that's done, click off, um, like exit both windows. And then on your desktop, right click. And go down to the bottom and press personalize, and then it will say your theme should pop up somewhere on here. And if it hasn't, then you've obviously not done it right, or you've done it with the wrong folder, or whatever. So, as you can see, my Leopard OS X theme is here. So, if I just double click that, and then it should come up once it's loaded. <coughs> like that guys so I'm just gonna show you what this one looks like so it looks like this um, it's not the best of themes um, so that's basically it though guys that's how you do it um, I'm just gonna go back to my normal theme for now but that's you can get lots and lots and lots of better themes like that guys so thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and um, stay tuned for more, thanks guys, bye.